investing activities. So this is going to be an investment that we sold. Therefore, uh, we're going to have an increase in, increase in cash from investing activities. So we're going to have a, a receive cash, cash received from sale of equipment. We're going to put it right there. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that into kind of our balancing uh, statement over here. I'm going to right click and paste that one, two, three. And so we're finding a home for this journal entry and in our cash flow statement, basically. And so this is going to equal uh, this cash debit. We're going to find a home for this. I'm going to make that green. And we're going to put that over here in our investing. We received uh, cash from this investment. We're down here in H16 equals. We're going to point to that. I'm sorry. I'm going to put it in the adjusting column, not in that column. I'm going to say this equals and point to that 2650. And there we have this. So again, if we look down here, we're still in balance here. We're not in balance yet over here. We've got to find a home for those other two areas. So then we have the equipment. So let's take a look at the equipment. 51. Where are we going to put the equipment on our cash flow statement? We know that the equipment is, is on the uh, balance sheet and we, we looked at the difference between the equipment. So here's the difference. Where did we put that on our cash flow statement? Uh, we can see it's, it's right here. 